Welcome to CBS This Morning. I thought Dave Chappelle, edgy as he always is, I thought he summed it up really nicely. I thought so, too. A lot of people are celebrating, but a lot of people are very unhappy Absolutely today. Absolutely right. And in terms of finding joy in your life, yes. I mean, the news we're about to get into is going to help. Or yes. could. Could. Yeah, we are very excited about this. We'll let you know that we're closely watching President-elect Joe Biden's plans for the country. After his victory speech over the weekend, particularly how he says he will tackle this pandemic, he's due to announce his coronavirus task force today. But... As Tony just told you, we're going to begin with breaking news on the race to develop a vaccine. This morning, the drug giant Pfizer announced it has evidence that its planned coronavirus vaccine works. The U.S. has reported more than 100,000 cases a day for the last five days, 585,000 in all. And we're close to reaching 10 million COVID cases since this pandemic began in this country. Our Dr. David Agus joins us to talk about the breaking news. David, they're saying the headline says the drug is 90% effective. That is very encouraging. What can you tell us about this? Well, the FDA set a bar for 50% and 90%. So 90% reduction in uh, symptoms of the virus and people who got the vaccine. And so this is a momentous occasion. This is the first of what will be several vaccines that will show efficacy really over the next several weeks. But we're here, a long road, but the vaccine appears to have worked. David, there's, there's some more testing to be done though, correct? What's the timetable here? Well, I mean, the, the testing show it worked. Um, the, the safety data, we need two months uh, of people, um, majority of people in the trial to be exposed, which is any day now. And so I really think that over the next days, the, the material put together, file for an emergency use authorization with the Food and Drug Administration. And then in December, we can have the vaccine. There are 50 million doses of this vaccine that will be available before the year's end. Dr. Agus, what about distribution? If we have that 50 million, do we have the network and the cold storage, if that's what's required to get this to people safely? You're always the practical one. So <laughs> the answer is yes with Pfizer. It is. Um, this, this vaccine has to be stored at minus 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And Pfizer made their own boxes that take about 1,000 doses, and they're shipping these boxes that have about a 10-day life um, where they can keep the vaccine cold to large hospitals where the distributions will happen. So Pfizer is not part of Operation Warp Speed on either the clinical trials or the distribution. They've done it on their own, and they seem to have a very efficient system here in the United States to do it. Well, David, the headline is certainly exciting, 90% effective. But what makes this particular trial different? And are you excited about what you're hearing? Well, I think you could see in my face, I am excited. This is an RNA vaccine. So these are the instructions for the spike protein of COVID-19 that are ejected in the arm. And then the human body makes the protein itself and an immune response is made to it. To date, there have been no serious adverse events or no serious side effects related to the vaccine. So certainly this is light at the end of the tunnel. Again, this is one. There will be the AstraZeneca vaccine and the Moderna vaccine over the next several weeks. So we're gonna have three vaccine candidates that my gut is all of them will have benefit and we will have a significant supply of these by the end of the year and a lot more over the next uh, several months. Well, certainly more to come, but we're all hoping that this is a light at the end of the tunnel we've all been hoping for. Thank you, David. More to come. Yeah, we are definitely hoping so. I may be practical, but boy, my heart's beating fast. I <laughs> yes. hope this can work. Yes. Oh, please. Yes. Practical is not bad either, Tony. No, no, practical is the right approach. Exactly.